Hello Bulldog Nation. My name is Robert Stinson and I'm privileged to serve the students of our community as principal of Rossville Middle School. My time as a Bulldog goes back to 2006 and I consider it one of the great honors of my life to have been able to work alongside you in the service of our kids. As a Title I school, we are required to develop an annual school improvement plan to solicit family insight and feedback concerning that plan and to present a summary of the various Title I functions at our school. This presentation constitutes our annual Title I family meeting. I encourage your participation and feedback, first by typing your name in the comment section so that we may document your attendance and participation, and second, by typing any comments, suggestions, or questions you might have so that we can communicate with you directly regarding any of your specific concerns. I hope you find this presentation helpful and informative. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but there are a number of things I'd like to present to you today, including what exactly constitutes a Title I school, what are some of the Title I related programs at Rossville Middle School, what curricula are presented in an RMS classroom, what are some of the assessments that an RMS student might take, and what do these assessments measure, and what parent engagement opportunities are available at RMS. Title I refers to a specific provision of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965 that aims to provide federal resources to help improve the academic achievement of the disadvantaged. Schools with families or communities of high poverty qualify for funding to help ensure that students have a fair and equal opportunity to achieve, at a minimum, proficiency on challenging state academic standards. A school is determined to be a high poverty school if 75% or more of its student population qualifies for free or reduced meal prices. RMS has exceeded the 75% threshold every year since the 2006-2007 school year and has, since the 2011-2012 year, ranged from 85% to over 95% of its students qualifying. To summarize, Title I schools receive additional funding from the federal government. These federal funds enable high poverty schools to purchase resources and programs that they otherwise could not afford. This helps level the playing field for economically disadvantaged students. Rossville Middle School participates in Title I in a number of ways, most importantly in using Title funds to hire additional personnel. One or more additional classroom teachers may be hired with these funds to help reduce class size, and a family engagement coordinator is hired in order to facilitate the involvement of parents and other stakeholders in the operations of the school and in the decision-making process. Title I also enables RMS to purchase technology such as computers, tablets, interactive whiteboards, etc., online math and reading supports, and professional learning opportunities for teachers. Additionally, RMS uses Title I funds to purchase basic educational supplies such as paper, pencils, glue, markers, and scissors, additional reading supports, reading and math specific professional learning opportunities, and co-teacher trainings. According to our school improvement plan, Rossville Middle School has multiple school improvement goals. There are several staff and student supports in place at Rossville Middle School that serve to help us in meeting our school improvement goals. These supports include our standards-based grading policy in which students are able to practice their performance on standards without penalty prior to a major assessment, daily morning study skill segments to provide students with opportunities for enrichment and remediation, multiple parent engagement opportunities, for example, invitations to visit the school book fairs, school council meetings, this Title I family meeting, etc our Renaissance Incentive Program, our Program of Professional Learning Communities and staff-led professional learning workshops called WWE, or Workshop Wednesday Extreme, technology-rich instructional practices and environments, and additional professional learning opportunities provided through the district and through Northwest Georgia RESA. Ultimately, the purpose of each of these supports is to facilitate improvement in student achievement so that each of our students are able to graduate, ready for college, work, and life. Student achievement at Rossville Middle School and in every Walker County school is measured by student mastery of the curriculum. The curriculum used in our school is set forth by the Georgia Department of Education, which has developed performance standards in all four content areas, mathematics, reading and English language arts, science and social studies. All of the Georgia's public school curricula from grades K through 12 are available online at georgiastandards.org. Along with each grade and content-specific set of performance standards, georgiastandards.org also provides teachers with curriculum maps, pacing guides, and outstanding instructional frameworks and exemplar unit and lesson plans. In 2015, 
Georgia replaced the Criterion Reference Competency Test, or CRCT, with the Georgia Milestones. Each child's progress is measured by a score that can be interpreted as Level 1 Beginning Learner, Level 2 Developing Learner, Level 3 Proficient Learner, or Level 4 Distinguished Learner. All students are expected to perform at a Level 3 in each content area. Traditionally, Georgia has tested students in all five content areas, reading, ELA, math, science, and social studies. Beginning in 2018, only students in 5th and 8th grades take the Georgia Milestones test in science and social studies. In addition to the milestones, students take the Measure of Academic Progress, or MAP, MAP, test at various points throughout the year in order to provide teachers, students, and parents with more immediate feedback on a student's progress toward content mastery. Additionally, English language learners take the Access Test, and Community-Based Education, or CBE students, take the Georgia Alternative Assessment, or GAA. How is a student's progress measured on the Georgia Milestones? Essentially, the milestones will provide a measure of a student's progress toward content mastery on a four-point scale. Students determined to be a level one or beginning level have not yet demonstrated content proficiency. Students at level two or developing are emerging and are demonstrating partial proficiency. Students at level three or proficient are at the desired level of performance having demonstrated competence at the knowledge and skills necessary at their current grade level. All students operating at a level four or distinguished level demonstrate advanced proficiency or mastery of the content and skills necessary at their grade level. When a student receives scores from having taken a milestone, they will receive a score depending on the grade and content area between the mid-100s and the low-800s. The scale presented on this slide may be referenced in order to interpret that score as representing a beginning learner, developing learner, proficient learner, or distinguished learner score. In the state of Georgia, under the Every Student Succeeds Act, all teachers must be highly qualified in the content area that they teach. They must have, in other words, received certification through a Professional Standards Commission recognized certification program, and they must have passed a state assessment in their content area. Occasionally, an active teacher may be licensed provisionally while completing their certification requirements. Teacher and paraprofessional certification is a matter of public record, and all parents are guaranteed the right to inquire about a teacher's credentials. Parents will be notified in the event that an RMS teacher is pursuing licensure in the state of Georgia and holds only provisional certification under the Professional Standards Commission. Rossville Middle School is heavily dependent upon cooperation with parents to achieve the goal of graduating all students ready for college, work, and life. There are therefore a number of opportunities for parents to be directly involved in the life of the school, including school council participation, parent engagement meeting participation, feedback on our Title I surveys, involvement in making school parent compact revisions, participation in teacher parent conferences, active communication via email or other digital tools, participation in the school book fair, attendance at sporting events and extracurricular activities, and of course, simple phone calls. Copies of the school parent compact and family engagement plan are available in the family engagement office or can be downloaded directly from the RMS website, rms.walkerschools.org. Families may likewise expect interaction with teachers through email, phone calls, messages, or through direct contact with the principal, assistant principals, and the family engagement coordinator. Additionally, up-to-date information regarding Rossville Middle School is regularly communicated through the school's website and social media platforms. In addition, RMS makes extra attempts to ensure that families and students are connected through the family engagement coordinator, through observance of the McKinney-Vento Act, and through services provided to Spanish-speaking families. The Family Engagement Coordinator serves as the liaison between school and families, relaying the needs of one to the other. Ensures that Title I Part A parent involvement regulations are met with meaningful and strategic actions to build parent capacity under this section of the law. Educates teachers and staff on how to communicate and work effectively with parents as equal partners, ensuring the academic achievement of their students. Advises and trains parents on how to address issues with leadership staff in school meetings serves as a school-based intermediate contact for concerns and comments made by parents and community members, provides referrals for community-based services for families dealing with conditions that impact the academic achievement of their students, expands opportunities for continued learning, voluntary classroom service and school participation, develops community collaborations, promotes sharing of power with parents as decision makers, helps parents understand the educational system so they can better advocate for their children's education, and maintains the parent resource center. 
The McKinney-Vento Act provides the school with latitude to continue providing the basic functions of food services, supervision, and education to children in the event that the student becomes homeless and is temporarily displaced outside the bounds of the school zoning area. North Georgia additionally has a high population of permanent and seasonal Spanish-speaking residents whose children attend public schools. Walker County Schools is committed to providing a Spanish-speaking liaison to these families when needed. Rossville Middle School is committed to using all Title I funds transparently and holding itself accountable to the appropriate use of these funds. As part of that transparency and accountability, any individual, organization, or agency may file an inquiry with the Walker County Board of Education if they believe that an individual or school within the Walker County school system is violating a federal statute or regulation that applies to a program funded under the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. Finally, one of the most important components of ensuring that the students of Rossville Middle School can achieve very high levels of performance is our collective commitment to the Bulldog Creed. The Bulldog Creed is our code of thought and conduct. It drives every aspect of Bulldog citizenship. It is posted on every wall, in every classroom, and is recited every morning on the morning announcements and every week on the Bulldog Bites community call. The Bulldog Creed is, I will be safe, I will respect the learning environment, I will respect others, I will respect myself. I hope that this information is helpful to you. As you can see, Title I funding factors prominently in the life of Rawson Middle School and is a key element in the success of our students. In order to help us document your attendance, please write your name in the comments. You may also place any of your questions in the comments section and someone from RMS will respond as soon as possible. Thank you so much for your time and go Bulldogs.